Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of the probability density function of the estimator of a parameter vector in a linear model. That is, given the linear model x equal to h times theta plus w, where x is a vector of size n by 1, and h is a matrix of size n by p, and theta is a parameter vector of, of size p by 1, and w is the noise vector of size n by 1. So given the information that w follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance equal to sigma square i, then, then the model for the observation vector x is given by a normal distribution with mean equal to h times theta covariance equal to sigma square i. Now from a previous video, we know that the estimator for the parameter vector theta, that is theta hat, is given by h transpose h inverse h transpose x. So this is the minimum variance unbiased estimator of the parameter theta. So in this video, we want to derive the probability density function of this estimator theta hat. That is, we want to find f theta hat of theta hat. So, let us start with the probability distribution function, that is f of theta hat. It is given by probability of the vector theta hat is less than the value theta hat. That is, this is a random value and this is a realization of the random value is equal to and by definition theta hat that is the minimum variance unbiased estimator theta hat is given by this product that is h transpose h whole inverse h transpose x that is the least square solution therefore probability of h transpose h inverse h transpose x is less than small theta hat this is equal to by transferring this inverse matrix onto the right side, we have h transpose x is less than h transpose h. Now, by multiplying with the vector, with the matrix h on both sides, we have h times h transpose x is less than h times h transpose h theta hat. Theta hat. This is equivalent to probability of x less than h times h transpose inverse h times h transpose h theta hat, which is equal to probability of x less than h times theta hat. So therefore, this is equal to f of, that is the CDF of the the random value x, the other random vector x at the value h times theta hat. Therefore, the PDF f theta, therefore, the PDF f theta hat at theta hat is equal to the derivative with respect to theta hat of the CDF, which is equal to the derivative of the CDF of the random process x and by definition we know that the derivative of a CDF is given by the PDF at h of theta hat multiplied by the, the determinant of the derivative of the product h times theta hat. So this is equal to the determinant of the derivative of h theta hat is h transpose the determinant of h transpose multiplied by the PDF at h of theta hat, h times theta hat. And since the PDF of x is a normal distribution, this is equal to h transpose, determinant of h transpose multiplied by the PDF at h times theta hat. Then since the PDF is the normal distribution, that is fx of x is a normal distribution with mean equal to h times theta and variance equal to sigma square, covariance equal to sigma square times i. So, given this PDF, the PDF at h times theta hat is written as 1 by 2 pi 
power n by 2 into 1 by sigma square into i determinant power 1 by 2 exponential of exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square into h theta hat minus h theta that is the true value theta transpose h theta hat minus h theta. This can be rewritten as 1 by 2 pi power n by 2. The determinant of h transpose can be rewritten as h transpose h power 1 by 2. Since the determinant of h and h transpose are equal, the square root of the determinant of the product h transpose h is equal to the determinant of h or h transpose. So, by using that relation, we have this term and then we have sigma square multiplied by i, determinant of sigma square multiplied by i power 1 by 2 and then we have exponential of minus theta hat minus theta transpose h transpose h. This is done by uh, taking h common in the both the factors and then we have theta hat minus theta and of course we have 2 times sigma square in the denominator. So, clearly from this structure we can see that, that the mean is given by theta that is expectation of theta hat is equal to theta and the covariance of theta hat is equal to inverse of this matrix that is sigma square multiplied by h transpose h whole inverse because this has the structure x transpose the inverse of the covariance matrix c inverse x transpose. So, so by comparing this exponent of a Gaussian distribution, we can clearly see that the covariance matrix of C theta hat is given by sigma square into h transpose h or inverse. Therefore, the estimated theta hat follows a Gaussian distribution with mean equal to the true value theta and the covariance equal to sigma square times the inverse of h transpose h. Thanks for watching.